Recently, fiscal reports exposed that actor Lee Sung Gi's record label and agency Hook Entertainment borrowed an amount of 4.7 billion Korean won, which is about 3.5 million in US dollars, from its own artist for seven years without paying any single interest. So, before we start the video, I want to tell you that majority of you who are watching my video haven't subscribed to my channel yet. So, hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell because we make K pop latest news videos and training videos and fact videos delivered right on your phone notification so hey guys keep watching this video till the end and in a couple of minutes you will get to know what's gonna happen exactly by the end of this video based on the exclusive media report on 24th of November fiscal reports of the company exposed hook entertainment that borrowed 4.7 billion won from actor Lee Sung Gi without paying zero interest on the purpose of management and operation costs in the year of 2013 the entertainment company hook entertainment repaid the borrowed money in a huge lump sum after straight seven years in 2020 however it is extremely unusual for the record label to borrow cash from its own artist without paying any single interest an entertainment expert commented it is possible that the label used the celebrity's name and reputation to fund the money or else the celebrity could have lent to the label on some rules regulations and special terms another entertainment expert commented there are some tax benefits when you buy real estate through a corporation however there needs to be further investigation on cash flows and tax feelings. Last time, media outlet Dispatch exposed the label Hook Entertainment for withholding Lee Sung Gi's music earnings from his entire career as a singer. During his 18 years of long career as a singer in the industry, Lee Sung Gi released a sum of total 137 songs and 27 albums. However, he did not get any proceeds from the benefits of selling his own music. Therefore, he got an amount of zero dollars from his profits of selling his own songs. The CEO of Who Entertainment then released a statement explaining that the company is looking into this matter. However, a voice recording of the CEO's verbal abuse was exposed to the public on 23rd of November. Following on 24th November, Lee Sung Gi's legal representative released a statement of response into this matter. So let us know what you think in this comment section down below and I will get back to you with a response. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do give a thumbs up to this video. Also subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell because this really makes me motivate to make new videos for you so if you want to know what happened with Lee Jong-suk during his fan meet then do watch this video right now